Hello friends, today we are going to see how to solve the linear equation using Cramer's rule. So what exactly the, is the Cramer's rule? It's nothing but just the another method to solve the linear equation. So every problem can be solved by a number of ways, but the solution will always be one, which will always be same whichever method you apply. So Cramer's rule is basically just another way to solve this linear equation. So we are going to solve it in just two simple steps. Let's look with an example. So let's take the example of 3x minus 4y equal to 10 and 4x plus 3y equal to 5. So what does the first step say? You need to find the determinants. So here we are going to find the three determinants. So let's find the determinant. So Take the two things like x and y, place the value of coefficients of x in the column of x and coefficients of y in the column of y. So what are the coefficients of x? 3 and 4. Place 3 and 4. Then what are the coefficients of y? Minus 4 and 3. So placing it in the column of y, minus 4 and 3. So 3 into 3 is 9 minus 4 into minus 4 is 16 which gives you the result as 25. Now let's see how to find d of x. So it's a, as we have to find the value of x and y so we are going to find d and d of x and d of y. So what is d of x? So you need to replace the column of x with the values with respect to that equation. So in the first equation the value of x so the value of equation is 10 so replace the column of x with 10 and in the second equation the value is 5 so replace it with 5 so for this first equation corresponding value of y is minus 4 and for this equation it is plus 3 so the value of determinants become 10 into 3 is 30 minus minus 4 into 5 is minus 20 so it becomes 50 similarly let's find y so earlier we replaced the column of x with the values now we'll replace the column of y with the values of those equations so x remaining as it is so what is the value of x 3 and 4 just keep it as it is and what are the values of those equations 10 and 5 replace it in the column of y so what is the value of determinant it's 15 minus 40 which comes as minus 25 so this is the first step what is the second step you need to find the determinant divide the determinants so there is a formula how we find the value of x is we need to determine we need to divide the determinant of x with the norm with the determinant value so what is the value of dx which is 50 and the value of determinant is 25 so 50 divided by 25 gives the value as 2 similarly for y d of y upon d gives minus 25 by 25 which is equal to minus 1 so the value of x and y is 2 and minus 1 respectively so as i said Whatever the result you get, you can always check if you have found out the right solution. Take any equation and place the value of x and y. And check whether LHS and RHS are same. So, let's put it in the equation number first, which is 3x minus 4y equal to 10. So, what is the value of x? We got it as 2. So, 3 into 2 is 6. And what is the value of y? Minus 1. So, 4 into minus 1 is minus 4. 6 minus minus 4 is 10. So, 10 is equal to 10. LHS and RHS are same. So, whatever the solution you found out is correct.